Yellowstone National Park is one of the most beautiful and diverse places on Earth. But beneath this stunning landscape lies a hidden danger, a massive volcano that could erupt at any time. What would happen if Yellowstone erupted today? How would it affect the environment, wildlife and human civilization? In this video, we will explore the history, science and potential consequences of Yellowstone's supervolcano. Yellowstone's volcanism is the result of a hot spot, a plume of hot mantle material that rises to the surface and melts the crust. As the North American plate moves over the hot spot, it creates a trail of volcanic activity that stretches from Nevada to Idaho. The Yellowstone area is the current location of the hotspot and has experienced three major eruptions in the past 2.1 million years. Each eruption was hundreds of times more powerful than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens and ejected thousands of cubic kilometers of magma, ash and gas into the atmosphere. The eruptions also caused the ground to collapse, forming large depressions called calderas. The most recent caldera, the Yellowstone caldera, is 85 by 45 kilometers in size and covers most of the park. The Yellowstone volcano is still active today and shows signs of magma and hydrothermal activity. The park is famous for its geysers, hot springs, mud pots and fumaroles, which are fueled by the heat and pressure of the underlying magma chamber. The magma chamber is estimated to be about 60 kilometers long, 40 kilometers wide and 10 kilometers thick and contains a mixture of solid and molten rock. The magma chamber is also under tremendous stress from the overlying crust which causes earthquakes and ground deformation. Scientists use various instruments and methods to monitor the volcano such as seismometers, GPS, satellite imagery and chemical analysis. By studying the data, they can detect any changes in the volcano's behavior and assess the risk of an eruption. So, what would happen if Yellowstone erupted today? The answer depends on the size and type of the eruption, which are hard to predict. However, based on the past eruptions, we can imagine some possible scenarios. A small eruption, similar to the one that formed the west thumb of Yellowstone Lake 174,000 years ago, would produce lava flows and ash fall within the park and nearby areas. Such an eruption would have a local impact, but not a global one. A moderate eruption, similar to the one that formed the Pitchstone Plateau 70,000 years ago, would produce more lava and ash and affect a larger region. Such an eruption would have a regional impact, but not a global one. A large eruption, similar to the one that formed the Lava Creek Tuff 640,000 years ago, would be a catastrophic event that would affect the entire planet. Such an eruption would produce a massive column of ash and gas that would rise up to 50 kilometers into the stratosphere and spread over the continent and beyond. The ash would block out the sunlight, lower the temperatures and disrupt the climate for years. The ash would also damage the infrastructure, agriculture and health of millions of people. The gas would alter the chemistry of the atmosphere and cause acid rain and ozone depletion. The lava would cover thousands of square kilometers of land and create new features and landscapes. The chances of a large eruption at Yellowstone are very low, about 1 in 730,000 per year, according to the US Geological Survey. However, the consequences would be so devastating that it is important to be prepared and informed. The US Geological Survey, along with other agencies and organizations, has developed plans and protocols for responding to a potential eruption and for communicating with the public and the media. But Yellowstone is not just about geology. It is also a haven for wildlife, with 67 species of mammals, 285 species of birds, and countless other plants and animals. You can see grizzly bears, wolves, bison, elk, moose, and many more in their natural habitats. 
Yellowstone is also rich in history and culture, with more than 1,800 archaeological sites, some dating back 11,000 years. The park was inhabited by Native Americans for thousands of years and was explored by European Americans in the 19th century. It was established as a national park in 1872 by President Ulysses S. Grant, making it the first of its kind in the world. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope you enjoyed learning about one of the most fascinating and formidable natural wonders of the world. And don't forget to visit Yellowstone National Park and see for yourself the beauty and power of the supervolcano. Just remember to stay safe and follow the park rules and regulations. Until next time, goodbye.